going on YouTube? Viking Clips and Rips here. This is Paul. Sitting in the parking lot here. I was thinking a little bit about what I want to discuss today. Um, you know, this channel is just starting out. I don't really know what I want for it. Just a little bored with life and a lot of things going on in the world today. So, stopping by Chipotle. Get my wife and I some Chipotle. I head home here. I figured I'd take a couple minutes to talk while I drive. Um, I know on the channel I want to discuss a lot about prepping, life, fishing, just dude stuff, doing just dude stuff. And um, basically what I'd like to discuss today is prepping, a little bit about prepping. So I have a one-year-old son almost and um, it, it's crazy how we as people do not and have not been sustainable by ourselves for a long time. You know, I live out towards the Amish, so I'm out here in rural Ohio, and, um, you know, something I always admire about them is they're always so good at sustainability, at self-sustainability, something that we've lacked for a long time um, as people. And so when the pandemic hit, I started learning how to prep because I felt really called to do so, and... Um, I've definitely started learning how to prep a lot more effectively, and I wanted to talk and give a report of what happened to us. So long before Abbott Foods basically had that outbreak in their their baby formula, I went ahead and slowly started stockpiling up Similac for my child because my child could not breastfeed. My wife was unable to breastfeed. So we had to go to, uh, obviously, Similac and infant you know, food replacement, and, well, what's ironic is I started buying from some from Sam's Club, you know, like three or four extra a month, and so I had up to a year supply, so he's almost one, I have about four big tubs left, you know, and, and anybody that has a kid knows that that doesn't last very long. Well, needless to say, when I started buying them, I was started noticing that the shelves were starting to stay way more bare. And I was like, I told my wife, I'm like, hey man, something doesn't feel right here. You know, they're not, you know, my Walmart took three weeks to start getting it back on the shelves. Well, so I went ahead and started, you know, hitting up Sam's Club, hitting up a couple Walmarts, hitting up some, you know, grocery tra chains out here where we live and um, got to a year supply. Well, this was about four or five months ago when it started collapsing. I read an article about how babies were hospitalized because the formula they needed, they weren't getting the nutrients they need. And people, the big thing out here is nobody's going to take care of you but yourself and the people that love you, you know? So I don't want my baby to starve. I don't want your babies to starve. You know, I don't want nobody to starve. But at the end of the day, nobody's just going to drop Similac at my doorstep, you know? And the stranglehold and the monopoly that a lot of these companies have on free market is really, really terrible. I mean, that Abbott could do such a thing that makes it to where I still don't have the big Similac inf infant sensitive that I need. So if I didn't have this stockpiled, my child wouldn't be eating the, you know, the Similac he needs because he has a, you know, a tough time digesting the regular Similac. So again, just a little bit of a, a video here while I take a nice rainy day stroll back home to let you guys know it's your job to protect your family. It's your job to protect your neighbors, your job to protect your loved ones. And, um, you know, as long as you're not, you know, going out and stockpiling like they did with the, with the toilet paper and the paper towels, which, you know, we'll get into that stuff at a later time on the channel, but slowly spread out your preps, what you like, what you need. Think about it. Read the news. You don't have to like social media. You don't have to like mainstream media, but there are some good articles out there that will give you a heads up. Because at the end of the time, when the government isn't going to tell you it's going bad, that'd be silly, right? Like, the government ain't going to be like, it's raining down, you know, and causing panic. So, you got to do your own due diligence and what your family needs and what your priorities are as people, whether that be, you know, having extra, extra insulin if you're a diabetic, you know, whatever the case may be for yourself, make sure that you do yourself a favor, stay prepared, stay fit. Don't be chunky like me, and uh, everybody have a good day. Liking out.